construction behind us. At least four people are dead. At one point of the day, half a million homes were left without power. Our UK affairs correspondent Jeremy Cook looks back at the day, the storm that's remained faint news of the country. Across the south and east of England, widespread disruption. Even when the storm had passed, thousands of commuters faced hours of delay and frustration. If your day started in Tunbridge, it probably started slowly. The problem? Not leaves, but trees on the lines, hundreds of them up and down the rail network. At the other end of the line, Waterloo Station had a standstill. Trains backed up with nowhere to go. And so it went on, all day. For mile after mile, we've seen the same thing. Some of the nation's busiest arterial rail lines completely deserted. Nothing moving into or out of London. Also on hold, Felixstowe Container Terminal. This place, normally a hive of activity, today static. The cost of this storm will be millions. The cost, of course, in casualties too. As well as those who lost their lives, others were injured in almost random events. Witnesses said this bus was lifted off the road and dumped into a field by the force of the wind. Several passengers and the driver were injured. No one was killed. Even Whitehall did not escape, a crane crashing down near Downing Street. For many of us, it has been little more than a windy day in autumn. For others, a day of tragedy and of destruction. Jeremy Cook, BBC News.